Hello everyone, this is Pal Ponder on Weather. In this update, we've got a big snowstorm coming and hurricane season is not done yet. So we'll break down all the details so you can plan ahead and know what to expect. I appreciate all my followers out there and my new followers. If you are new to the channel and like detailed weather breakdowns on North America and the tropics, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and notification bell to get all my daily updates to keep you ahead of the storm so let's get right to it let's take a look at the overall temperatures because we have actually seen some significant cold fronts over the last week and we wake up tomorrow morning with 83 percent of the entire nation below freezing that is a significant widespread cold blast for the lower 48 and that's pretty significant because the last time we've actually seen something like that we'd have to go back all the way exactly eight years ago, back in the cold winter of 2014. This was exactly eight, eight years ago, back on November the 18th, 2014. At that time, we saw over 80% of the lower 48 below freezing conditions. And ironically, that exact time frame was the same time frame where this epic snow event, this lake effect snow event took place back in 2014, was November the 17th through the 19th. That time they dumped 65 inches of snow. And this event is almost like a deja vu. It's exactly what's unfolding as this band of very convective heavy snow is just training just south of Buffalo here going right over Hamburg and right over Orchard Park with just relentless snowfall rates of up to five inches per hour at times. And some of the latest snowfall totals have been really significant. I mean, the models were printing out up to five feet. Even some models were showing six feet of snow. It's right now about 36 inches. And in some reports I've seen over 40 as I'm updating this video. And it is still coming down big time up there. So yeah, this could actually be the exact time setup of what unfolded just eight years ago. So all this was stemmed from, if you recall, back when I did this video, all the way back over three weeks ago now, explaining the chain of events of this rare storm that took place back here into the West Pacific on October 26. This details the events that took this, that took place throughout November. So if you did miss that video, I'll put the link in the description below, but that gives you an overall depiction that I give people plenty of advance warning and keep you well ahead of the storm. So what's gonna happen now? So going forward, what we're gonna be having it is this ridge of high pressure that's gonna be developing off the west coast. And it's really gonna be intensifying as we get throughout the week next week. And as it does, it's gonna develop a low pressure center further north and that's gonna set up a cross polar flow. So by the time we get into next weekend, this trough is really gonna be intensifying off the east coast and we could be looking at another big snowstorm setting up off the East Coast by the time we get into next weekend. And some of the ensemble member guidance has been hinting at this for the past couple of days. And here's the latest GFS ensembles having that cross polar flow set up as that ridge depicted on the orange shaded colors as well just move from west to east kind of all throughout the week and further north we'll have that cross polar flow set up and we should have a low pressure center develop off the northeast coast and that should set up a fairly decent snowstorm as we head into next weekend and the in european ensembles essentially implying the same thing as a low pressure center will develop off the northeast coast you know by the time we get into next weekend by november the 26th time frame so i'll be fine-tuning this uh throughout the week but what's significant is this ridge of high pressure that will be moving over so this is you know some of the temperature anomalies by the time we get into next weekend on your Saturday time frame, this ridge will be pretty much amplified over the West regions, getting into our central states by then, but locking the cold still in place. So you remain cold all week along the East Coast. So the Southern jet stream should start to get active and have some rain showers along the deep South here. But once it gets further North, it'll tap into some of that 
cross polar flow colder air developing that low pressure center and it should be plenty cold enough where we could be looking at a, a pretty you know decent snowstorm by the time we get into next weekend but what's also significant that's going to set the stage of a beginning stages of this cold front will press southbound and get into the Caribbean. At the same time, we see a lot of precipital water values really start to enhance down here, kind of festering over the really warm waters out here still into the Caribbean. We still got hurricane season until the end of November, and there are definitely signs we could be looking at another storm as we head towards the end of November. So I'm setting this up for you. So by the time we get into that November the 25th, 26th time frame, we can see that cold front pushing down into the Caribbean. That'll help fester uh, what they call a Central American type gyra setup as these precipital water values will start to be enhanced down here into the Caribbean, just south of Jamaica. So this is the area of concern. We'll have to look for our next potential tropical system so yes on the setup on the 200 millibar we'll see this amplified over top that'll help lower the pressures underneath and we start to look at some lower pressures really starting to set up over the western caribbean as we get into next weekend and this all signifies and coincides with this huge vert vertical velocity index amplification of a lot of deep water convection down here into the western caribbean by the time we get into your 26th 27th time frame that's a pretty bullish signal <laughs> as we get that cold front you always have to watch for tail ends of the front it's that southwest quadrant of the tail end of the front where it just sits there and festers and as it does it helps lower the pressure we saw the 200 millibar come over the top that should be enough combined with this enhanced vertical velocity index to increase the forward lift down there in that region, along with all the deep ocean water content and the, uh, and the so surface waters are going to be really enhanced still. We could be look, spinning up a little low pressure center. So we see the enhancement by the time we get into your Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving weekend all the way down here into the Caribbean. So this is definitely a, a concern as we get into the end of November. Yes, I know this is, could be another late season storm, but a lot of pieces of the puzzle are starting to come together that we are not done yet with hurricane season. So if you take a look at some of the operational guidance of the latest GFS run, this is why you see these lowering of pressures down here by the 27th, 28th of the month is because the combination of that stalled front down there that gets into the Caribbean, the upward rising motion on the vertical velocity index helps lower this pressure with the Central America gyro type action. So we should start to see some sort of low pressure starting to develop. And the latest uh, Canadian model kind of implies the same thing. So this is why we're seeing model kind of congruency across the board with the combination of that cold front that's going to be sinking down here into the Caribbean. And if we take a look at some of the ensemble guidance as well on the latest uh, GFS guidance, it shows that enhancement by the time we get into the end of November with more and more members trying to come together and have something come out of the Caribbean. So that's something we're going to be watching heading into next week as that ridge will be moving across from west to east and but set up a potential snowstorm for the northeast and when that happens that'll swing in the cold front down into the caribbean and that will fester for a couple of days and we'll be watching this action as we head towards the end of the month for another potential tropical type system coming out of the Atlantic. So I appreciate you guys uh, watching. Do like this video, definitely leave your comments below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel, catch the latest update where I protect you before and after the storm.